Okay, so this is the panel. It's 60 feet long and 8 feet wide. The water comes from the pump over the, up there, up through this pipe right here. It's a two inch pipe. Comes down into here and splits into this one inch and one inch over here. And then from that flows into 14 half inch PVC tubes that are in parallel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So in those 14 tubes go across the panel in the sun. The sun heats up the water as it's going across. It gets to the other side, it comes into another header just like this, flips around and comes back this way in 14 tubes. Hits this header right here, flips around down to this bottom header and goes back over to the other side again. When it gets over there and then it dumps out into the other section, I consider each one of these is like a section. So that's section one, this is section two. So it starts down there, comes back this way, hits this header, or actually this one, flips into this header, goes back down there again, comes back this way and into this one, to this final one, comes out into the two one inch pipes, into a two inch pipe, and then it goes down in this return pipe back and then out and back to the pool. So it's originally designed for four sections, that's why it's 16 feet, the rack is 16 feet wide. Uh, but basically heats the pool plenty enough so we only, I only built half of it for now and uh, when this one eventually fails then I'll, I'm going to redesign, make it a little bit better and build the other half. So I built the rack with stuff that I just had laying around. We had put up a bunch of horse fence and we had a lot of extra one inch rough cut fence boards and fence posts. It's on a pretty good slant. And if I had to do over again, it, it wouldn't slant it at all. I did that so that it would drain, but it turns out that it doesn't drain anyway because the PV has sagged over the years. This panel's four years old. So it's been working pretty good for four years, but it is sagging in the middle, in between the supports. Um, Put the supports this way even though they're not as strong this way but it gives because they're wider it helps the pvc out a little bit uh, so anyway um, if i had to do over i think i would definitely make it flat the other thing is it's gone through a couple of changes since when i originally built it um, <clears throat> all the sections were going to be in parallel or both of these sections were in parallel so the water came in the side, went down, back, and down and out. And what happened was because of the slant, there wasn't enough flow and the water just wanted to go more to the lower tubes. And I wasn't getting that much flow in the top, the very top tubes up here, unless I really cranked it up. So by putting these two sections in series, that eliminates that problem. So all these tubes are cold now. It's just to look from the other end. Um, this, that's the north end down there. We're standing at the south end of the panel. Uh, it's slanted to the east. It's about 10.30 in the morning right now, maybe 11. This is my pool pump and filter. Uh, water comes out of the either the skimmers or the bottom of the pool or the cleaner through the pump, through the filter, through the chlorinator, it's a salt water pool and then it would go back into the pool, either through bubblers or through the jets. But here we have a bypass, so I can turn this off and open this up like it is now, and then the water flows through this pipe down underground back to the solar panel, and then it empties into the pool over there. So this way, there's no separate pump for the panel uh, we would be running this pump and filter anyway to filter the pool. So instead of dumping it right back in the pool, we're running it through the filter. It doesn't cost anything extra to do that. So this is my little pool. It's uh, 50 foot long and 20 feet wide in the wide areas. I think it's 15 feet in the middle. 
that's uh, about four, a little over four feet deep on one end and a little over six feet deep on this end. Uh, whenever I run the solar panel, I always uh, pull water. It'd be, it'd be better to pull water from the bottom of the pool because it's actually a little bit colder. It's not that much difference. But I always pull water just from the skimmers. And the reason is if anything were to break back there, um, then, and I wasn't home, then we'd pump all the water out of the pool. <laughs> so by only taking it from the skimmers, the water would drop down to the skimmer level and the pump would shut off. Okay, so panels back here, backyard. Uh, water returns here after it's heated. So let's calculate how much energy we're putting in here. So to do that, we're going to need to find the flow rate and the temperature difference. So I'll start with the temperature in the pool. Looks like it's about 78, maybe 79. It was 78 this morning, an hour or two ago. So there you go. Looks like yeah, a little over 78 maybe. Okay, so let's come over here. Let's see what we get for the return. It looks like we got about 84 degrees. So maybe five degree rise in temperature from what what comes out of the pool. It's about 79. It comes back. It's about 84. Okay. So next thing we want to find out is what's the flow rate. So I got a stopwatch. Got a five gallon bucket, and we'll see how long it takes to fill this up. Six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Forty-two. Twelve seconds. Let's try that again. About eleven or twelve seconds. It's twelve seconds. Sixty divided by twelve is five. Uh, times five gallon bucket, that's 25 gallons a minute. Not all the heat that goes into your pool is going to come from the solar panel. Um, the pool itself acts as a solar panel. So, I mean, you have a lot more surface area. So if this pool were actually in full sun, it would generate more heat from just the pool itself than the solar panel does. But here we got two problems. One, as you can see, only a, less than half of the pool is in sun. Um, partly because it's October 10th and the sun has fallen down in the sky and we have, this is on the south side, we have these tall trees, probably 80 feet tall. And the sun is just getting to the point where it's dropping below those trees. And the other factor is we have a screen. So the screen itself probably cuts, I don't know, if it's maybe 30% of the sun, the heat. So between the screen and uh, the trees blocking the pool, this time of year we don't get a lot of heat uh, from the pool itself. Most of it's coming from the solar panel. Just a little bit about how I built the panel. Uh, first of all, I buy everything in bulk, so I buy glue by the gallon. Then I'll uh, put it into these smaller little containers, easier to work with. And when I'm done, I'll top it off again, to keep less air in there, it lasts longer. I buy stuff in bulk, I get these things by the case, little pieces of these that I make the header out of, it's one inch T with a half inch out. Uh, buy those like that. I use this primer, not all the time, but sometimes. Uh, you gotta have one of these to cut the PVC. These are great. 
isn't really easy. Uh, you can use this kind of stuff, but I only use this for hard to get to places. Okay, so the way I do this, you take a <clears throat> long one inch, you know, maybe 20 foot piece of one inch, measure it off into little pieces. So you're gonna basically cut about 100 of these little pieces. These are connector pieces. So you cut 100 of those, and then you take these T's, you put it in here, glue it in, of course. Glue it in the other side. When you're gluing it, you want to make sure it's straight as you can get it, like that. And you just keep going, put another piece, another piece, build it up. And I put 14 of them for a single header. So that gives me, I got a one inch coming in either side. And then that goes into 14 half inch tubes. Each half inch tube is 60 feet long. So I buy them 20 foot sticks. And then just, you, you don't want to, basically you want to buy your stuff so you don't have to do any extra work, try and make it easy. So I bought 20 foot sticks and just glued three of them together. That gives me 60 foot till I hit the other side. You know, when you get down to the other end, 60 feet later, you plug it into the other header. So 14 tubes, half inch tubes run into the other header goes out into the one inch, back into another header, coming back the other way. So first section, I do that three times. Go down, back, and down. And that's it.